Welcome back to the 52 Weeks of Wealth. My name is Walter Morello. This is Wealth Principle 37. We've been traveling through this 52 Weeks of Wealth for now 37 weeks. Wealth Principle 37 is the depth of your gratitude as real estate investors, as entrepreneurs, as millionaires and future millionaires, millionaires in the making, millionaires in the present, just waiting for that money to come into our bank account. Who wants to make more money and do less work? Hands to the camera if you want to make more money and do less work. Excellent. I don't understand where the obsession with working comes from. I for sure, a lot of people, I do a lot of work. Let me like pull back for a second and just tell you, I don't work. I do things that I see immediate accomplishment for. And if I can see like I'm winning the game of life, I'll put in effort because I know I have an unfair advantage over everybody else. There's a secret that I know that other people don't know that the more you chase money, the more money runs away from you. But the more you accept the responsibility to create an amazing product or an amazing service or an amazing experience, the more money floods itself to you. If you accept the responsibility and you commit and then you deliver, man, it's just like money everywhere. We're building our businesses to sell our business. We're putting in an exit strategy. In real estate investing, we have a rule. We always have two exit strategies. There's always two exit strategies. You know, be grateful for this knowledge. Be grateful it's this simple, right? In order to become successful in real estate, you must have super state of gratitude. If I wasn't grateful for my existing success, I wouldn't have been able to create it. I wouldn't have been able to manifest it. But there was a moment where I just knew. I mean, after I, I got off the bucket, I looked across the, the kitchen. I, I walked over to the window. I looked across. I said, man, I'm going to own that house one day. And I'm going to own that house one day. And I just, I knew that I was going to own that block. And within three years, I owned the block. I owned that house, the house on the side of it. I owned the house down the street. I owned the house on the other side. I did a flip on the other side. It was not because of hard work. It was because I was grateful for something I was already in my mind accomplished. I already felt that I was I was done. Now, I'm not suggesting that thinking alone is enough. I'm saying that gratitude is the fuel to get your ass out of bed in the morning. Gratitude is the, the fuel that your fire of your soul can burn, the spark of your soul can burn off of, right? So you have to have the gratitude, like the thoughts are just the map, right? Think and grow rich, the thoughts are the map. The gratitude is the fuel with which you're put, gonna put in your vehicle, but your business, your actions, your hands, your language, your words, that is what actually makes the action happen. Hence the camera for catching us. We're grasping like, like I'm talking about the fuel, right? Like you can have a Ferrari in the garage. Here, would love to have a Ferrari in the garage. Anybody, any car lovers on the call? All right, so you'd love to have a Ferrari in the garage, right? Or Lamborghini, or, or for some of you, like maybe you like trucks. So you want one of those big Range Rovers or something. So you want this thing in the garage, but what if it was sitting in the garage, had no gas? Annoying as hell, right? A completely useless piece of junk, right? Because it's got no gas. I think about this for the last like five years, I've been teaching how to become a millionaire. I've been selling the Ferrari. I've been like, look, here's the Ferrari. I put it in there. Everybody takes it home, right? They buy a course. They take it home. They're like, here's, I know how to become a millionaire now. I know the secret. I know all the steps. Like I got the vehicle. I got the vehicle is this real estate thing. This is the vehicle, right? Hands care if you're in real estate. You got the vehicle. You have the, you have the Ferrari in the garage already. You got the Lambo. The gratitude is the fuel in the tank, right? You've got to be able to put that gratitude into the Lambo. You got to be able to put the gratitude into the tank. Otherwise, you don't have something to drive. Like you just, there's no fuel to drive. Why would you go and become a millionaire if you're not grateful for the life you already have or the life you're going to have or the things you're going to be able to do for other people? A lot of people won't go and do the work because they don't know what they're going to do with the money. You got to have a list of motivations, a list of things that make you grateful to have made money. Otherwise, why are you doing it? Whenever I think about money, I'm like, okay, go make more. I've got to go and like mentally motivate myself. I've got to say like, okay, why am I doing a money task when I have a mindset task I'd like to be working on? There's a there's a person I'd like to be working on right now. There's a, a human being I'd like to be fixing or improving or sharpening or high-fiving or hugging, right? Making more money is a lot easier than like building millionaires. Let me just be very honest with this. And I'm grateful for the opportunity, but making a lot more money is a lot easier to do with people who already have a lot more money. Hands to if you understand that, right? So like, I don't have to worry about the mindset of them believing in themselves. I don't have to worry about the mindset of like, can I do this? Is this possible? Like when I have people who already have money, I'm just like, here's what we're doing. And they're like, sure. And then we go do it. And scan if you understand this. But when, when somebody doesn't have money, hasn't experienced money, hasn't lived with money and, and hasn't embraced how, how much fun money is, then I have these challenges 
that we're talking about right now. These challenges of, well, I, I didn't do it. I know I was supposed to, I should, I, I wanted to, I was going to, uh, I'll do it tomorrow. And it's like, mm. We understand what the challenge is. Why do tomorrow we can do today? If we keep pushing off and we keep delaying, we never have in, in the present. So you must be grateful in the present for the things you've already accomplished. Be grateful for the confidence. So many students I've talked to and they're like, I just don't, I don't have the confidence. I feel like I need more knowledge. I need more knowledge. I need more information. I need to, I need to get the next course. I need to understand how to do this, how to do that. And it's like, dude, like it's right there. Like this is how you do it. Like buy out a 10 cap. It's simple. Or if you can divide 10 by the number that the NOY is, you've got your f offer. Go, like go and put that in a hundred times. Hence, care if you know, people don't go and put offers in after they're told this formula. It's insane to me. Absolutely. Well, what if something happens? Dude, we'll figure it out. I promise you. Let's go. <laughs> Take action. So be grateful for how simple the process is because we buy at a 10, we sell at a six, right? Multifamily. This is what we do. We buy at a 10, we sell at a six. If we didn't buy at a 10 and sell at a six, we wouldn't make money. But because we do, we make a lot of money. The money's in between. So when you're networking, make sure that you're showing love by listening, by listening, listening, asking a couple interesting questions, gauging who they are and what you might be able to do to serve them. And if they do ask, this is what I would say. Like, they're like, how many deals do you do a year? You know, maybe if you're starting out, what deal? Maybe it's fifty thousand dollars. Whatever, whatever you need a deal to be for you today, that would be just enough for you to believe you could do it, and just enough to get it done, and just enough to change your life, just enough for you to say your life has changed. Like, just enough within your realm of gratitude and your realm of reasoning, your realm of like what's possible for you. I'm known for saying this in some of the local events. I know I can make a million dollars in three months. I don't know if you can, right? I don't know yet because I don't know if you'll do what it takes to do to get there. I know that for me, I can do this. Like it's it's very easy for me to do. I absolutely am, am beyond, like you cannot imagine just how thankful I am to be me. Like you, you cannot understand or fathom just the gratitude I have for my, my being myself for every relationship I have with you, for the contacts and the knowledge that I've acquired over the years, for the understanding of how simple the process is, because of that state of gratitude, anything that comes my way, I, I always break into a simple process. Anything that comes my way, I always think of my network, who, who in my network knows this better than me? Who in my network can just do this for me? Who in my network could I just pay? And then who in my network has money to pay that person who I'm just going to pay to go do the thing that I don't want to do? And then because of that state of gratitude around the awareness, it's a, it's a four-step process. I know I'm the right person. I know I've got the right technology. I know I've got the right network of capital, and I've got the right network of skills, labor, and, and knowledge. And with, with those four steps of just gra grateful for those four assets that I know I always have, I can accomplish just about anything I set my mind to. Who's already seen that? Like Alchemist Nation did not exist 10 months ago, right? We released this in December. This platform didn't exist. Alchemist Connect just didn't exist until June, right? Alchemist Financial didn't exist until somewhere in mid mid April, March, right? Your Millionaire Path, like these are four major applications that were released all within ten months. Hands to the camera, if you know, like people don't do that unless they've got a vision and they've got a team and they've got some gratitude that it's already done. Gratitude that's possible. There's so much gratitude that you can be having right now in your life for the things that you're already about to accomplish. 10 steps for feeling grateful. It's the depth of your gratitude. It's, man, if I can teach you this and then I can give you the roadmap at the summit, I don't have to worry about the rest. This is build a million hours on autopilot. One, keep a gratitude journal, right? If you don't have one, go buy one. Just shit, you're a millionaire anyway, right? Like you're already gonna get the money. The money's already there. Just go grab your gratitude journal and let's make sure it happens. Uh, establish a daily practice of writing in your gratitude journal in which you remind yourself, of the gifts, the grace, the benefits, the good things you enjoy, setting aside time on a daily basis to recall moments of gratitude associated with ordinary things, your personal attributes, your valued people in your life. And this will give you the potential to intervene, uh, inter interweave a sustainable life theme of gratefulness. Let me say that again. Be grateful for the little shit you have in your life, the small things that you're not grateful for. And every time you see one of them, Instant gratitude, instant gratitude, instant gratitude. Your mindset starts being grateful for shit. Be grateful for the negativity. Be grateful for the pain. Like you stub your toe, it's like, man, I'm thankful I have a fucking toe, right? Like, whoo! <laughs> so every time something happens to you, you start getting into a state of gratitude. You start believing like you just have this energy. You become this unstoppable force. Who here believes if you mine deep enough, you'll find what you're looking for? 
right? In, on this earth, if you mine deep enough, you will find any one of the minerals, right? You go just go deep enough, it's down there. Well, it's the same thing in your soul. If you mine hard enough, if you work a muscle hard enough, if you spend enough time on gratitude, you're going to find that you have way bigger energy skill, a, a, a bigger capacity for gratefulness, for gratitude. And that is what you need to drive faster. It's what you need to drive further. It's what you need to go to the next level. So this is one tip for emphasize and leverage what you have going on every day. Uh, number two, remember the bad man. Gary V talks about this all the time. He's like, I just think about my family dying and then I'm happy. And like, not because I'm thinking about my family dying, but because they're not dead. And I have to do this often. Like I will go to a dark place and I don't stay there for a long period of time. I stay there for a super short, hyper short period of time, but I do it often enough for me to remember why I do what I do. Because sometimes, believe it or not, with the waking up to the beautiful girlfriend, waking up to all the friends who are like, you know, hey, let's go hang, let's go do something, waking up to all the money, sometimes it's easy to be like, I don't want to go do it. You know, I might not want to go and jump on stage and have conversations for four fucking days straight <laughs> and not get to go and like relax and chill for four days straight. I got to be on the entire time and maybe even the, the two weeks before, like memorizing every PowerPoint, making sure that the knowledge is tight, making sure that I'm articulating, practicing my voice, exercising my voice so that it doesn't burn out at the summit. I, I love to serve you. I love to be there and see the, the mindset shifts, the paradigm shifts. I see you leveling up. I see you taking partnerships by the hand. And like, I see the potential for the millionaires in the room. So yes, I have that burning passion. I have the desire. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to serve on this level. But is it possible that some days I might wake up for a moment and be like, I don't want to fucking do it. So remember the bad, the bad, the stinging in life, man. I remember being broke. I remember not having food, like literally being afraid that I wouldn't have food. I like having the choice. Do I sleep in my car tonight or do I sleep in my office and thinking, well, my office at least has heat for now. If I can pay the bills, you know, I remember like being in that little closet in my office and just thinking, this is temporary. This is temporary. This is temporary. I'm going to change this. I'm like one day I'm going to look back at this closet as my fucking motivation to never come back to this closet. Use them as fuel, right? Like, don't forget them. I'm not saying live there. Like what I'm saying is I go there for a second. I remember that pain. I'm like, whoa, that's right. No, no, I'm grateful again. Thank you, Jesus. Right? <laughs> I'm good. I never want to go back. Ask yourself questions. Utilize the meditation technique of Nakon, which is where you... It, reflect on these three questions. Ready? What have I received from this? What have I given to this? And what troubles and difficulty have I caused? And when you can go through this process, you're going to find that you become a little more clear in your life. So ask yourself those three questions. This is a meditation technique called Nacon. You can Google it, look it up, uh, but essentially it's reflection. What have I received from the thing? What have I given to the thing? What energy have I given to the thing? And what troubles and difficulty have I caused this particular situation, this thing, whatever it is? And when you start taking ownership over your situation, you start being grateful for the power that you have over a situation. Number four, learn prayers of gratitude. Who here prays? Anybody on here pray? I still pray. Sometimes I pray to myself. I'm just like, bro, like you got this. Come on, go, go out there and get it. Sometimes I pray to God. Sometimes I pray to the universe, but whatever you pray to make sure you're doing it in a way that is stating the gratitude, man. When I pray, it's always thank you. I don't pray for anything else other than thank you for the strength you've given me. Thank you for the wisdom you've given me. Thank you for the confidence you've given me. I do not ask for anything. When I pray, I am just thankful. I'm telling you this, your prayers are probably too complicated. They're probably too long. You probably got too much shit in there. Just be thankful for being the person who can do the thing that you're looking for. Number five, come to your senses through all your senses. The ability to touch, right? The ability to see, the ability to hear, the ability to smell, the ability to taste, the ability to feel. Leverage just moving this thing around a little bit. Just Man, like I go to the gym and I'm like, I'll be pushing. And I feel the pain in my biceps because, you know, all I do is arms. I feel that pain and I'm just like, oh, I'm alive. Good. One something today, right? A little bit of pain creates some experience. Now I'm, I'm out of pain and it feels great. 
right? Maybe a massage later feels even better. Use your senses. You know, sometimes like you're like, okay, I can't eat food all day long. Who knows you shouldn't eat food all day long. That's a good way to get fat and then cause diabetes and then maybe die early. We, we want to live a very long life. So let's be grateful for having the ability to smell food. We can smell things that taste good. Whoa, experience, right? Use your senses. Just be thankful for this experience. Use visual reminders because two primary obstacles to gratefulness and gratitude are forgetfulness and the lack of mindful awareness. Visual reminders can serve as cues to trigger thoughts of gratitude. Oftentimes, the best visual reminders are other people, which is why you'll notice on these calls, you hear the voice and you're like, whoa, like this is a tribe that cares about me. This is a place that I can be me and I can go be, I can excel in things and you can get yourself to the next level. And people are like, yes, go be a millionaire. Like, please. Oh my God, Courtney, you got this. Please do it. Please do it. Just to prove that it's possible so I can go do it. There's a lot of emotions, right? Success is not about knowledge. It's not about technique. And here's what I will say. Every one of the millionaires, they are super intelligent. Like we fight that though. Like that addiction to knowledge, we have to fight that because it's the action steps that make us successful. Got to get into the state where you're thankful for who you are as thankful as a person who does what they say they're going to do. And then they get what they said they wanted. You are a person who lives in a constant state of gratitude, which is why you take constant massive action because you know the things that you do always work out for you. Here's what I'll tell you. If you believe it always works out, I guarantee it will work out more often than it doesn't. And if you're in a room like this with a bunch of people who believe it always works out, we'll fucking figure out how to get it to work out. Because if we believe it's possible, we'll find the answer. But if I don't believe it's possible, I'll never search for it. Like I know your brain, you have this ability inside your head to answer questions, right? If I ask you, why did you do that? Your answer is, I don't know, right? Why don't you go make a million dollars? Your first answer is, I don't know. I don't know. We got to turn that. We got to reactivate. You have the answer. The answer's inside of you. It always is, always has been, always will be. Be grateful for the answers. You'd get the technique yourself. You'd figure it out along the way if you were just grateful for the fact that you have all the answers in it within. Number seven, make a vow to practice gratitude. Let's do it today, right? Who's ever made a vow, made a commitment, made a promise and didn't do it? Anybody ever do this in the past? That was past you. That person fucked shit up. It's okay. Today is you, you. This person today, thankfully, we're grateful for it, does the things they say they're going to do. Put a reminder in your phone that says, be thankful for something. And then just pick something. Be thankful for a human being, right? Pick a person that you really like, that you're really thankful for, always thankful for, no matter what the world happens. Like, what happens? You're thankful. If they cry, if they yell, if they scream at you, if they disappear, you don't see them for a year. Like, like I'm screaming at you right now. If I'm that person, like just put a person in your phone that makes you feel grateful and then say right there, feel grateful. You don't have to call them. You don't have to text me. You don't have to do anything. Just that person and feel grateful and feel that energy and send that to them. Right. It's going to do two things. One, I guarantee you at some point you're going to text them. I'm so grateful. Sometimes I just call my dad for no reason. I'm just like, dad, I just want to let you know. I love you. And like, I'm very grateful. I don't need to know the technique. I don't need to know the technical. I don't need to know how or when. What I want to know is that it got done. What I want to know is that we're growing. I want to know that we're moving the needle. I want to know that we're going forward, serving more people on a bigger level, playing the game a little harder, putting more assets in place. As you're going through, make sure that you're focused on the right actions. And then right now, one more thing to write that you're grateful for is that you always seek results. You know, is the person in front of me happy with me? Cool. It's a result. It's not an emotion. It's a result. The person in front of me said, nodding, yes, they're going to sell their house to me. That's a result. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Nailed it. Number eight, watch your language. <laughs> Number nine, I'm going to speed through these. Number nine, go through the motions. If you have, have uh, if you go through grateful motions, the emotion of gratitude should become triggered. So again, when you see people uh, act like a hug or uh, movements like this or jumping up and down, like I tell you, we have a trampoline in the house because it's impossible to jump up and down and not feel grateful. Number 10, think outside the box. You want to make the most out of opportunities to flex your gratitude muscle. You must creatively look for new situations and circumstances in which you feel grateful. This is an extremely impactful lesson that will expand beyond just your real estate investing career, but let's start uh, there for now. Nobody has ever said, I'm going to put 100 millionaires in a room and I'm going to build 100 millionaires with that 100 millionaires. Nobody's ever done anything like this. There's a lot of people, a lot of people talking and these are successful people, but I think they just say it like out of their ass, like, oh, I'm building a hundred millionaires. What by like, you're theorizing that you're building a hundred millionaires, but you're not committing to these people. You're not tracking their success. You're not documenting the process. So it's repeatable. All you're doing is going out there and throwing information out. Like, yeah, here's, I wrote a book. I'm building millionaires. I wrote a book. I'm building millionaires. I wrote a course. I'm building millionaires. That's great. It's true. And, and I bless all of them. But what we're doing is tactically tracking what actually builds millionaires so we can reproduce 
the process. So we can duplicate the process. So we can shorten the time frame on the process. So we can actually make it a process so that when you send somebody to Alchemist Nation, you know they're going to come out a millionaire on the other side, either a millionaire or they're leaving. Thank you.